welcome back to part 2 of using voiceover on the iPhone. In this video I'm going to show you how to navigate the iPhone using the voiceover accessibility feature. To turn on the voiceover accessibility feature we're going to triple click the home button. Voiceover on. In my previous video I showed you how to assign the home button to do this. Now I'm going to show you how to navigate the screen. Listen as I move my finger over the screen and voiceover will announce what is underneath my finger. Photos, camera, passbook, weather, maps, reminders, notes, iTunes, app store, not settings, utilities folder, game center, clock, settings, app store, iTunes, notes, Double tap to open. As you heard, VoiceOver will announce double tap to open. It will do this when you have settled on an app. If I now double tap the screen, VoiceOver will no open my notes app. I can double tap anywhere on the screen. Notes, notes, 74, heading. At this point, I can also navigate my screen by moving my finger. Either the world is changing us or we are changing the world. The 20, when you dig another out of their troubles, you find a place to bury your own. The 20, a small leak will sink a large ship. The 29th of August, 2013. Again, button. I can press my home button Notes. and it will return me Double back to open. my home screen. A nice method of navigating the screen quickly is using the flick gesture. This means that you move your finger from either left to right or right to left in a flick movement. So now I'm going to try it on the screen to navigate through my apps on my home screen. Reminders, clock, game center, iTunes, app store, settings, utilities, for page one off, phone, mail, safari, music, safari, mail, phone, now page one off, utilities, setting, app store, iTunes, game center, clock, reminders, notes, passbook, notes. I come back to Double notes again. Open. Double tap to open. Notes. I can notes. also use this method heading. to go through my notes. Either the world is changing us or we are changing the world. The he who has, when you dig enough, may our a small, it is better. Love enables us to walk fearlessly. So again, using this method, it is very the quick. Of August, 2013. And it will uh, navigate you through any of the menus or your notes list very quickly. At any point, to navigate back up to the top of a list, you can use a different navigation method again. This is the two finger swipe up method. Place your two fingers together and then place them at the bottom of the screen and flick upwards. Notes 74 heading. Note button, how it search, now says search field, notes. Adeline, see, oil, so you know it is now right back March. at the very top button, of the screen. Need to request the following the 28th of February. Button. Those who trim themselves to sweet others will soon wither away. The 7th of February. Button. To create a new folder, double click the mental health file. So now notes. What you've double seen tap, and heard there was when I flicked my two fingers in an upward motion from the bottom of the screen, voiceover began reading from the top but automatically continued to read down through the list. This saved me the trouble of having to flick to go down through each one. So practice, practice these little gestures and see how you get on. Thank you for watching the short video on how to navigate your screen using VoiceOver on the iPhone.